Bag after bag, this is a regular, necessary, and often costly routine. Americans spend more than $500 billion a year on food. Potatoes are probably decent. It's also estimated $100 billion worth of food in the U.S. gets tossed in the trash. So every couple of weeks, Ryan Byler and Laren Crott Baker get their groceries here for free. I'm starting to feel moisture around my toes. Not a good sign. For them, grocery store garbage is groceries. There's lots of bags of just garbage, and we're looking for the bags that are full of things that were just taken off the shelf. Those are a little harder to spot. They're unlikely scavengers. Oh, hello. Eggs. They've both got good jobs and can afford to buy food. But almost everything they eat comes from the garbage. Hope you like carrots. Are these bad? Is that what you talk about? For Byler and Baker, along with Baker's wife and friend, it's a slightly smelly adventure into the unknown. Oh, yuck. Yuck, yuck, yuck. They never know what they're going to get. Prime rib and filet mignon. But this is about more than just the thrill of discovering free food. It also just appeals to my values in terms of trying to live more simply in a, you know, the most affluent nation in the world where all this stuff's being thrown away and it's, as far as I'm concerned, it's perfectly good. Most of the food has just reached its sell-by date. Yesterday, you would have paid for it at the store. This is a real careful. Look at this. Yeah, we got a lot of carrots. They don't look slimy at all. The good stuff is well protected with packaging, and often there's more than they can eat. What will you do with all this broccoli? Bring some into work. Uh, we'll eat some of it, and whatever we can't eat and goes bad, we'll probably compost. In communities across the U.S., there's a growing movement of mostly young people who get their food this way, a protest against what they see as a culture of excess affluence and waste. This group of university students is part of an international group called Food Not Bombs, activists in the fight against hunger. The food is either donated or from a grocery store dumpster and would otherwise be wasted. Trust me, it's completely sanitary. I mean, not completely. I mean, if I see that the food is not edible and it's got mold, it's got some sort of dirt on it, we wash it all, we prepare it all in a way that once it's finished being cooked, it's edible. Still. Each Sunday, the students take the food they've prepared downtown to Washington's DuPont Circle, a free hot meal for whoever's hungry. And nobody asks where it comes from. Grocery store managers don't like to talk too much about dumpster divers, or freegans as they're called. They don't want to encourage them. Store managers are concerned about safety, and they say the food they can't sell, but is still safe, is donated to food banks or other charities. Well, often, as is the case, there's like one or two that are Bad. smashed or moldy, but then the rest are okay. Byler has been doing this for a year and a half. Have I ever gotten sick? Yeah. No. What's more, by saving money on food, they say they have money for other good causes. Bust open one of those good breads. Antipasto. Get past the idea it comes from the garbage, they say, and it's just good food. And? It's good. Delicious. Never thought I'd do this. <laughs> Yay! Tasty. <laughs> Allison Smith, CBC News, Washington.